have been associated with late my guru Ritwik Ghatak, Dek Tandon, R.K. Nair and so many people. Now, here I am sitting in a village, my native village, my native place and the importance of today's topic is visual village. So, I remember while I was uh, with uh, Ritwik Da, he told me one incident of his filming during Suburna Rekha. He said the film was over and the last shot was to be taken and he had placed his camera near the near a pond and people were waiting that the, the Dada will just announce their take and shooting will be over and everybody will go home. But he was waiting, he was not taking the shot. And he said that people were grumbling that this man is wasting time. But he said the importance of shooting in villages that atmosphere should be maintained. Actually, behind that um, that pond, normally village women they used to come around twelve o'clock, means lunch time, and before that it is al almost empty. And they used to come and wash their clothes and this and a lot of activity was uh, on the uh, waterfront. So he, he wanted that atmosphere and as soon as the time was uh, prepared, the time, time was over and he took the shot and he said and the, the interesting thing is that uh, it was a close up and only behind the shoulder that pond was seen. And the entire activity was recorded. So if you watch that Suborna Rekha, you will find the shot. And he said that that is the importance. And during uh, that discussion, he referred so many films like uh, Rashman the Gate and also. And he also he rem reminded me about Mother India. So the beauty of Mother India is that Mahbub Khan uh, shot entire film with the atmosphere. You would see the farmhouse and at the bulls and animals and people and it says every every frame, not a single frame was left. And during then I was shooting a Haryani film called Panghat. And if you see that that uh, film is available on YouTube, so if you watch that film, you will find that atmosphere. So the beauty is that the sky is a statement. The sky is unlimited. When you expose the sky, you concentrate not only the sky, blue sky, but with the cloud and the pattern of the cloud. If you watch great works of great artists, great filmmakers, you will find that they have exposed the sky beautifully and it is very difficult because you cannot depend on the light. It always changes. Suppose if you have got the sky very clear sky but at the same time you, you don't have cloud you need cloud cloud of different patterns different colors so it gives you hope and unlimitedness the hope the sky is hope so it's a interpret, interpretation if you want to add and one more thing he taught me Ritigda Ritigda told me that every craft has got a history so you must read the history, know the history, that the evolution, the period, what is happening in different events. And the second thing, the criticism. Criticism means people when they look at the, your, your work, after they comment, so they, their comment is very important, the criticism. And criticism is a very deep study. If you know the finer aspect of the creation. So this, these are the teachings of great master. He used to say, if you watch master's work, you can become master. So thankfully, the present day, I see a lot of good filmmakers, they are coming up and they are not only uh, picking up topics of different kinds, social relevance, but also the technology, the framing, the lighting, the sound system, everything. So I will advise you to watch good films like Rashman the Gate, Dr. Zivago and so on. A uh, lot of film, lot of. Film.